Are you looking for new people with that as well? Well, I've, I, the set did, I will design the set, mm -hmm. but then I need someone to make the it, building, make the it construction. Happen. Yeah. To make the it, make the it, construction. Yeah, make and make things work on stage can yes. often be a challenge. I've been involved with shows that have had some really fantastic ideas, um, but then the payoff, unfortunately, hasn't always worked. No. Because because it wasn't constructed by the right people. Yeah, and and I and I very much want to go along with. Maybe it's a, a contemporary idea, but I don't want blackouts if I can help it. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to. I don't want that to be. You don't want time. the weight. No. No. I want to use set changes to be entertaining as well. Yes. You now, know, something for the audience to watch. So I I feel a, that blackout period is often the the difference between a professional production and an amateur production. Yeah. That moment where you're having to, to wait. It's okay, just whack the microphone. Whack the microphone, <laughs> sorry about that. Where you're, where you're having, to, having to wait while things change. Uh, you don't, if you go to the West End or by anywhere like that, you don't sit there and wait, do you? No. It, they find a way to ha make it happen seamlessly yeah. or happen behind yeah. other things that are going on. Whereas often with amateur dramatics, you, you have a 30 seconds yeah. of black, blackness yeah. while things change. Yeah, um, and sometimes it's a necessity, mm -hmm. but I, I'm hoping to come away from that. I, Did you adapt to Vicar Adibli as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it was wonderful. I mean, I loved mm. it. I and it was, a, if I may say so, a big rip-roaring success. Yes. You know, we had full houses every night. We had people falling, falling over laughing. Mm -hmm. It was great. It was really good. Again, see, it, this, it comes down to the team, and I had a brilliant cast. Um, and uh, they really, really got into the characters, you yeah. know, and brought them to life. And it was brilliant. It was wonderful. I always remember that they did a perfect job of not doing a character, the character, of impersonating the character. They did the, they did this perfect balance of doing their own spin, but having the essence. Yeah, I mean, it needed to be recognisable. Yeah. What it's about is nurturing children, and that's obviously that comes from the, the teacher in me as well, uh, and my belief that drama skills can make a child's life better yeah oh 100 you know and help them help them to grow mm -hmm. and, and grow in confidence yeah and so, i see that from having been a little bit involved with cats over the years with yeah. my children going there and my children benefit but fitting and i've been in shows myself haven't i i've, I've supported have. and been on the yeah, stage you've been a guest actor shows. in many of our children's shows um i i've seen the way that these children go from being quite shy and timid to being confident and being able to speak, speak up. Yeah, it's an and amazing that's a, that's thing. That's such a, an amazing thing. Mm. It's such an important skill yeah. for children to have. Yeah. Because I, I also, in the other things that I do, I also meet a lot of children that haven't got those skills. Yeah. And I can see, yeah. I yeah, can see, you can the, see the difference. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, absolutely. And, and the direction that it can push them forward in life. Mm.